dear students of third standard we will start with the new lesson from your third standard english language so before doing going to the lesson i feel or i know that most of you have gone to the villages or you may have your grandparents houses in the villages or your natives may be in the villages and you keep going to villages so villages are the place wherein you get a very beautiful view of nature or you can enjoy the nature in the midst of the greenery because you see lots of trees the fields then the domesticated animals and different types of houses very close to each other and the whole village will lead a life as if they are well known to each other or as if they are the near relatives you can see the intimacy among the people a lot and uh, it is also a place wherein you can enjoy your life so you don't get disturbed as you get disturbed in the cities or even in the towns so it will be a very cool weather there and very good environment when it is really maintained well and people enjoy going to villages especially the people who lead their busy life in the cities or in towns they get very relaxed when they go to villages and one important thing what we see there is uh, most of the, most of the household things or especially the vegetables or your uh, what is that food items related things like rice jowar everything it will be grown there and you will get fresh things to prepare your food items and also you will get fresh fruits so all these things are the advantages of being in villages okay now there is a lesson to be discussed that is going to the village so in this uh, lesson you see the experience of a family who are going to a village and they are very excited to go there and we come to know the different aspects about the village okay let us start with the lesson listen to my reading and also listen to the explanation so see here nitya and aditi are going to visit their uncle and aunt who live in a village they are traveling with their parents nitya is very excited and keeps glancing out of the train window she has never been to a village before so you can see that there are two children by name nitya and aditi so they are travel to their uncle and aunt's place that is in a village who are living in a village and they are traveling and they are traveling with their parents and nitya is very excited to go to the village so what's the meaning of the word excited very eager eagerly she is waiting to go to the village children are excited to see the magic show so when you get excited when you see the magic shows and you will be very happy in the same way nitya is very excited to go to the village and she keeps glancing out of the train window so they are traveling by train and she is glancing out of the window so what is glancing out keeps glancing keeps looking out always looking out of the window we keep glancing out of the windows while traveling usually even if you are traveling by train or bus or your own vehicles it's really a beautiful experience when you keep on seeing outside so you will be enjoying your journey so like that both of them are very excited they are traveling by train and they are glancing out of the train window and one more thing is she has never been to village before there that's why she is very excited nitya now there is a, like a conversation between nitya and aditi both are speaking to each other nitya how much longer i am waiting to play with the calves and feed the ducks she is so eager that she cannot wait so she is asking how much longer huh how much should we travel still so she is very excited 
and sister Lee, I am waiting to play with the calves and the duck. Calves, it is the plural form of the calf. Calf is baby cow. Plural form is calves. More than one. The calf is white in color. So you might have seen baby cows. They will be so beautiful and pretty. And you enjoy to play with them. So she is waiting for that. She wants to play with them. Feed the ducks. She is so excited. Mother, there were Aditi. Do you think they have rabbits there? Now Aditi is asking. Next is Aditi speaking. She is telling. Do you have rabbits there? Mother, there were no rabbits when I was a child. So mother is telling them. When I was a child there were no rabbits. There are large fields where you can play with your cousin. So what is there? Large fields. It is one important thing or a very beautiful thing that we see in villages. The fields where you can play with your cousins. So cousin is a child of one's uncle or aunt. So if you have uncle or aunt from the, your mother's side or your dad's side, they are called as and they are children. They are called as cousins. I like to play with my cousins. I like to play with my cousins. So she tells that you can play in the field with your cousins. Aditi, and what do uncle Naresh and auntie Rujita do? So they are so excited to know everything about that village and their relations uh, relatives who are staying there. So there she is asking, what do Uncle Naresh and Auntie Rujita do? What are they doing? What work do they do there? Mother, they work on the farm. So usually people who live in the villages, they work on their farm or they do different variety of work there. They grow sugar cane and rice. So what are the things they grow there? Sugar cane and rice. Rujita auntie also runs the girls school. So what is the <coughs> other thing Rujita auntie is doing is she runs the girls school. School for the girls. So this is all very ex exciting aspects for, to the, uh, for these girls. And they are so eager to know things and to visit the village. Now they are traveling here. You can see the picture. They are traveling by train, father, they started it last year so that the girls in the village can study in a school nearby. Now their father is speaking. What does it tell? That the aunt and uncle, they started this school last year so that the girls in that village, usually children who live in village, they find it very difficult to cope with their education, to get proper education. That's why Rujita auntie has started a school there in the village so that they can go and study in the school and especially for the girls. Sometimes when it is school, they have their classes under a huge banyan tree. So sometimes their classes are conducted under the huge banyan tree. So there will be banyan trees in the villages. You can see them. So they will be very huge in size and under that tree, banyan trees means the aladamara. So under that tree, the classes are held, they are, sit, they are made to sit under the shade of that tree and the lessons are done. So this is how they can enjoy the nature also. Nitya, I would love to make friends with all of them. Now Nitya is very eager to make those girls also her Friends, one side she was very eager to see the village, the calves, the duck and also the fields. Now she is very happy to know that there are so many girls in the school and she wants to be their friends. Father, looks like our station is just a few minutes away. Means the father is telling that we are very close to the village. Within few minutes, within a few minutes we will be Reaching our destination or our place. Aditi, how will we reach the farm? Are there autos and taxis to take us there? Now Aditi is very curious to know. How can we go and reach that farm? We will be reaching the station. From there we have to travel or we have to go to the farm. Or the farmhouse where uncle and aunt lives. So she is inquiring whether there are autos or any taxis that will take us there. Father, no. 
there are buses so there are buses we can go by buses maybe your uncle and aunt will bring their tractor we can ride on it to the village and is also guessing your aunt and uncle they may bring their tractor so usually you see tractors are used in villages for moving about and also the different works in the fields so they may bring their tra tractor so we can ride on that we can have a ride in the village on the tractor so all of them are very excited because they are going to the village nitya i wonder what kind of house they live in now nitya is having a question she is wondering she is very happy to uh, think each and every aspects of the village or guess about that so she is telling i wonder what type of house they may have or they are living in mother the house has trees all around it and a courtyard in the center so there are lots of trees around the house and a courtyard in the center what's the meaning of the word courtyard an open area inside a house surrounded by walls a open area so it will be surrounded by walls and wide space where everyone can sit and enjoy and speak to each other children like to play in the courtyard usually children like to play when there is open space so courtyard is a open space in the middle and it is covered with the walls so there is a courtyard in the center there is a well at the back so there is a well also because usually the wells will be the source of water or the ponds in the villages when we were young we used to sit under the trees at night so the mother is recalling her young when she was a child or the days when she was very young like nitya and aditi so she was still that she is telling we were sitting under the trees at night and grandpa would tell us stories grandpa used to tell them stories the people of the village would gather to listen to the story so even the people from that village they used to come and gather they sit in groups and they used to also listen the stories sometimes when it was very hot we would sleep under the trees so when the weather is very hot even nowadays people do that they sleep under the tree so even in villages when it is very hot they go and take rest under the tree or they sleep under the tree they smelled so good and it felt so cool so when the wind blows it will be very cool cold weather and you get the very uh, what is that good smell because of the surrounding places there and it is a pure air when you sleep under the uh, what is that tree and because of the environment you get good smell there Aditi, the houses in the city are usually small. So, what about the houses in cities? So, it will be very congested or sometimes very small. Mother, well, many houses in the village are small too. So, now mother is telling, yes, even in the villages, there are many houses, they are very small. Some of them have thatched roofs. So, some of them, their roof, it is made out of the straw dry straw or hay that is called as thatched roof so what is it thatched means covered with the straw dried grass or the dry hay the hut has a thatched roof so usually when there are huts they have thatched roofs some houses are big and have tiled roofs so some of the houses they have tiles which are put on the roofs or covered with tiles father the train is about to stop at our station come pick up the bags and move towards the exit remember it will stop here for just 2 minutes now the father is telling them yes we are almost very close to the station and it is going to stop come take all your luggages that is your bags and we'll move to the exit exit means the place from where you can get down or get out of the train and usually the trains they don't stop for longer time so here it is going to stop only for 
two minutes. So let us get out of the train. The family gets off at the station. The platform is small and almost empty. So now the family they come out of the train. They will get off the train and there at the station. And the platform there. Platform means a raised area between or along the tracks. So in the station you will have raised area. Means it will be a little bit high, higher than the tracks. So that you can get down from the train and also you can wait or be ready to climb the train. So that is a place, that is the platform. So there what happened? The platform is small and almost it is empty. There are no many people. Platform. People wait for the trains on the platform. So once uh, it's time for the train then usually people come and stand on the platform and wait for the train. Nitya. Uncle Naresh, Auntie Rujuta. So they see their uncle and aunt. They are very happy. They are calling and they are also telling. Uncle, welcome. Did you have a comfortable journey? So the uncle asks them that you are welcome or tells that you are welcome to our place or to our village. Did you all find your journey very comfortable? Comfortable means ease. So easily I think you have Come here and the journey was fine. I feel very comfortable in the company of my friends. So usually when you are with your friends you feel very comfortable. Very happily, easily you enjoy with them. That's the meaning of the word comfortable. Aditi, we did. Yes, we enjoyed the journey. It was really comfortable. Aunty, come this way. The tractor is parked at that end of the station. Now, their aunt, she tells, yes, come this way. The tractor is parked there at the end of the station. So now they come to know that they are going to travel by the tractor or on the tractor to the house of their aunt and uncle. Nitya, will you drive the tractor, auntie? So she is asking, auntie, will you drive it? Auntie, why not? Yes, she is ready, she agrees. Would you and Aditi like to sit beside me in the front? And their auntie is asking, Are you ready to sit beside me when I am driving? You and Aditi. So again, they are so excited there. Nitya, yes we would. So they are very happy to sit beside their aunt. Aditi, what fun will the tractor take us through the fields? So she is feeling very happy. She tells that yeah it will be a great fun because the tractor will take us through the fields. She feels that the tractor will move in the mid of the field. So she was feeling very happy. Uncle no it might spoil the crops. We cannot go in the middle of the field but there will be road beside the field. We can travel there. It will spoil the crops. Means whatever is grown there. However, you can see the fields as we drive by. So, when we drive or when we travel on the road beside the fields, you can see the fields and enjoy. And this story is written by Uma Raman. A simple story wherein you have come to know the beautiful life in the village and the children are very happy to go to the village and have a ride on a tractor and enjoy the environment. So I think even you all have such experiences. So when you go to your villages, you enjoy there because happily you can spend time and it is really a very good experience. So I think all of you have understood this lesson. Watch the video, listen it properly and try to read your lessons in the textbooks. Thank you.